Hi Spud and Chloe, Knitters and Crocheters. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the pattern box to hold the Spud and Chloe patterns that I have out in front of me. So let me show you the box first. Um, it's a two-part box. The lid comes off and inside the box are these uh, organizers or dividers and I'll show you those in a second how it comes in the package. But what they, the box is designed to do is to hold your Spud and Chloe patterns and you can see how nicely they fit right inside there. So you can organize them any way you see fit. And there it is. So let me show you what you got in the package. So the box comes in a package like this and when you open it up inside you're going to find the instructions for folding which I'm going to help you with today. You find your dividers, file dividers, and the labels, and they have um, pre-printed categories on the labels, but there are also some blank uh, labels that you can put any type of type category on that you see fit, so that's kind of nice. And um, you'll get the two pieces unfolded. So let me first start with the bottom of the box. Come on around and I'll show you what to do. So here's the bottom of the box, and First, you're going to just kind of bend it so it forms the box. This, this uh, bottom is fairly simple to do. So there's one piece with the cut out and that's at the front of the box. That's the first piece you're going to fold down. The next thing you do is you fold in these two side pieces and it creates the slot, which then you fold the last piece into. And there you have it. So that's it for the bottom. That is quick and simple. And the top is a little more complicated, but I think I've come up with a simple way to um, figure this one out. So you're gonna wanna put this in front of you, like this, with this longer flap at the top up in front of you. And what you're going to wanna do is kind of pre-bend all the creases, and especially these perforated corners, because then when you're putting it together, it will go much more smoothly. So I'm just kind of pre-bent all the pieces together. I'm going to put my hands under these two sides and fold them into the center at the same time. And I fold the sides up. And then what I'm going to do is work toward, this is actually, um, will be the front of the box, this longer lid. So I'm going to bring in these perforated corners to the center. And then what I do is I hold those flaps to the, uh, back side here. I bring over this top lid and fold it into the center of the um, box and you just kind of push and then the little flaps will go right into the little slots on the side that fit perfectly and then that um, bottom will just crease. Um, and then this will, that will end up being the front of the box. And now I'm going to do the back of the box top, and I do the same thing. I fold in these perforated uh, corners. I bend them in. You hold those flaps uh, flat to the back here. And then I just fold this lid right over. The slots and the flaps on the inside will click right in together. And then that is creased along the bottom. Then all I need to do is put the lid on. And there you have it. I hope that helps. Thanks.